you find yourself in a situation where you are looking to workers' compensation, where there are so many things that you need to be considerate of to make sure you're going about it the right way and that you can be taken care of? And there is one person on our show that we like to go to with all of our questions, and that is Catherine Stone, who is back with us right now. Catherine, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am well. I hope you are doing the same. Yes, we're busy. <laughs> you are busy. I know you are always busy. So we're thankful that you do carve out some time to help us answer questions. And, and I've gotten to know through the years and working with you that there's so many things that people need to keep in mind, whether it's a time frame or a statute of limitations, and you might not even be aware of it. Explain what you've seen lately that you wanted to address today. Right. Well, I think, you know, with COVID having affected a lot of people, um, that a lot of things got kind of lost by the wayside. And one of those things is individuals who have workers' compensation claims, keeping up with those claims and making sure that they're not administratively closed due to statute of limitations. And the statute of limitations is basically says your case can uh, will remain open or you have the right to pursue a claim only within a certain amount of time period. Otherwise, you're legally barred. And in workers' compensation, you have two years from the date of the accident to file a petition for benefits to seek benefits through the system if you have never sought any benefits. Um, and so what we're seeing a lot of is maybe people had an accident near the end of 2019, maybe because of COVID, they kind of, you know, it kind of got put on the way uh, on the back burner. And now people are trying to say, well, I, I'm still in pain or I still need to go back and see the doctor. What what can I do? And, you know, now we're halfway through 2021. And some of these individuals were having to explain that your statute of limitations has run and expired. And there's only a couple of ways that you can keep your case from administratively closing because of the statute of limitations. Um, one is making sure that you have a petition for benefits filed with the workers' comp court within two years of your date of accident or one year from the date of last treatment or receipt of benefits through the workers' comp system, whichever is longer. So, for instance, um, you know, you can go beyond that two-year mark if you had been getting treatment and it would push you past that two year mark um, with regards to that. So there's also things that toll the statute of limitations. Maybe you got medical treatment through the comp system, but the doctors never placed you at maximum medical improvement. Um, mm -hmm. Then that potentially could toll your statute of limitations. So there are certain things that we can do to avoid the the case being administratively closed, but it's just very important that if you have a case that you don't let it just sit by and nothing happen with it. And, you know, Catherine, I've gotten to know you well enough that when you do talk about something on our show, it's because you have seen it firsthand and you brought up that COVID story. And I feel like we all think that things are lasting a little bit longer and, oh, we can get away with things. Right. It's really important. I'm assuming, unfortunately, you have seen this firsthand as a result. Right. And, and you know, a lot of things through the court system were told because of COVID yeah. and there were administrative orders from all the way from the Florida Supreme Court, um, the, the governor's office. There were a number of things that impacted the court systems. One of those things that did not get impacted by COVID was your statute of limitations hmm. um, in workers' compensation. Um, so, I mean, it's still there. It's still applicable to your case. And it's just better to make sure that you take action sooner rather than later. I know we always talk about, or at least I'm always talking about deadlines, deadlines, deadlines. And that's, it's so important that you know what your deadlines are. Just like it's 30 days to report the claim, you have mm -hmm. two years to pursue the claim or one year after the date of last treatment to make sure your case doesn't get administratively closed. Because once it's administratively closed because of the statute of limitations, mm -hmm. there's very, very few instances we can reopen that claim. Mm -hmm. I know you can do a lot, but you can't work magic and reopen right. that claim, right? <laughs> I'm not a magician. <laughs> <laughs> but you do know all of those deadlines. That's why she's great to have on your side. If you are interested in getting more information and want to see how Catherine and her team at Entry Florida Law Firm can help you, there is the phone number at the bottom of your screen. Your website was there also. Catherine, thank you for being thank with you. us today. We always appreciate you seeing you.